Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo. We're here at Emerson College Hollywood. I'm delighted to be joined by one of you, Tanja Allison, Hello. their fantastic movie, Chemistry. Let's take a look at the clip. Sarah, do you yeah, the long hair. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm at my tapes. Yeah, there's. Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, I am Noelle Nash. I am the director of this project. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for being here with me today. Oh, yeah, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, it's great to be here. We are just going to do like a little chemistry read today. Uh, I just want to kind of do the most pivotal scene in the film and just, you know, see how well you guys play off each other. I see you guys already met outside, which is great. I want you to love your dreams, Wyatt. But I want you to love me more. It's just not that simple. Um. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Thank you for bringing your film. I've got so many questions. Um, <laughs> for those that haven't seen it, tell us a brief synopsis. Sure. Um, it's a film about uh, two actors who do a chemistry read and you find out about their history. I, I mean, there's so, so, okay, there's so many layers in this film, right? Like, yeah. it's so good. And I'm like, it must have been really fun to direct, so I can't wait to ask you about that. Mm -hmm. But where did the inspiration come from in creating this project, and how did you get involved yourself? Sure. So our lead actor, Ryan Lee, um, is also the writer. And we've been working with Ryan for, since he was 16. Um, and uh, he does a lot of comedy. We do a lot of comedy. And he came to us about two and a half years ago and said, I wrote a drama and I want to challenge myself as an actor. Um, here's, here it is. Read it. Tell me what you think. And I thought, you know, oh, he just wants me to do some notes. And um, uh, he was like, no, you, you got to direct it. And I was like, oh, okay. And um, at the time he handed it to me, he didn't know that I was in the middle of a divorce. Um, oh. And uh, the story being about two friends who don't last um, was very, I took it. And I was like, yeah, sure. And Ryan had never been in a relationship. So oh. he was like, do that and I'll do this. And then we come together. And I was like, okay, great. Um, and actually my wonderful, amazing business partner, who's also my ex-husband, um, who was the cinematographer on the film. So it was our love letter to each other and to Ryan, so. Oh, Alison, this is yeah. so like, amazing and beautiful, <laughs> and I, wow, just amazing, <laughs> all right? Thank you, Didn't yeah. deserve good things. Well, you directed so, so, so well, and, and um, it was really, really well written, but it takes a really good director to direct something with that context, that complex, yeah. and then going through just life as well, yeah, you know? Yeah. It's like a lot, so yeah. kudos to you. Thank you. Um, how was it to direct this because you've yeah. got like actors who are playing actors and then there's all these incredible like you know layers in there as well like sure. how do you work with your actors and particularly for this project yeah so we had to kind of break it up into three segments so you mm -hmm. have them as their present day person mm -hmm. them as the actor in the present day audition room and then all the flashback sequences mm -hmm. of their relationship and so um but I think the toughest thing was the actors playing actors who are auditioning yeah. um, and nailing that kind of, you know, every actor, whether they want to or not, kind of gets that audition voice or like that motif. And so it was like bringing them into that space of, of um, showing that. And a part of that was using the, the, um, the, the other characters to really show the, the audition room. Yeah scenario um having that you know uh, producer it, there or the yeah. director and I, I absolutely love Kasha who played the director when she's like yeah. oh I'm really glad that came off the page like that <laughs> and I'm always like uh, every director ever when you do something <sighs> that they like and they're like wow it really translated and she was um, such a character wasn't she I loved <laughs> I her absolutely adore her. and yeah and the girl who played Lily yeah the, she actually auditioned for Sarah the oh, lead really and um 
I we never had that role in there, and then she was so great. We wrote it for her after oh, her audition. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm so glad because that was such a kind of cliche thing. I think for a lot of actors to be like, you <laughs> yeah. know, and just never knowing what's going to happen. Yeah, next, and her but... having that little relationship with yeah. with Sarah and being like, "You look great. Like, yeah. don't worry about it." You know, I've always yeah. had that in audition rooms. So. But honestly, that I mean, your actors really. I mean, I know it's weird to say, but they really did nail it. Like, I oh. I, I couldn't believe their chemistry like I mean I know it yeah. sounds crazy but yeah. you know you're active upon active but really th those two together were so great yeah. it must have been how, how is your process do you kind of do you have improvisation do you, do you how is your how do you yeah, work with the director? so it was actually great at the auditions at the callbacks we didn't tell them that Ryan was playing the lead ah. he came out and was like oh I'm the writer so he tested the chemistry by just saying oh I'm the writer I'll sit with you till you're waiting oh wow um and so he came in and he was like Christina's incredible and mm. I I had already known from her first audition that I wanted her. And so to be fair to all the other girls, we had over 1,300 submissions for that wow. role. And we got it down to 17. And I knew I wanted her. But I was like, I need to give these other actors a chance. Mm -hmm. So I put her at the end of the day. And then she called me and she was like, I have a doctor's appointment. Can I come in first? And I was like, sure. And right away, her and Ryan were there from like the sorted. same town. They, yeah. like, it was like right away, they just clicked. Isn't it great when you yeah. find that, isn't it, yeah. as a director? And they're great people off yeah. camera, which I think is so important. And I think it's why the relationship translated so well. Yeah, and, and if you, I mean, I thought you got such a, if you could feel the, the great aura of, 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 of Alison right here, but uh -huh. as a director, like, how do you, how do you like to work with your team? Like, have you got a certain process of how you, how you like to do things? Yeah, I very much take the approach of collaboration and all mm -hmm. um, essence of the word behind the camera in front of it. Um, and for my actors, it was very much here's my boundaries mm -hmm. of where I would like your character to go and mm -hmm. you play within those boundaries. Yeah. And if you break them, I'm not mad because I like a rebel. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I love it. So um, they did occasionally. Sarah really pushed sometimes. Um, Christina really pushed me. And so mm -hmm. I, I love that about yeah. her. And um, as far as our, we didn't have a crew for this film. Um, yeah, we had no crew. We, we, we shot it in three days. Um, oh and, my God, superstars. Yeah. yeah, and Ryan funded it out of his own pocket. Oh, and Ryan. his parents gave a little bit. And um, we just really believed in it. And yeah. so our, it was me, Chad, and our, our wonderful sound uh, engineer, uh, Ben. Mm. And um, we made it happen. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I think the best thing is we get to work and then we're family when yeah. we cut. And yeah. um, I love um, hearing my crew be like, I think we should do this. Um, yeah. I never don't listen to that yeah. um, because they're seeing things I'm not sometimes. I'm one person, you know. Yeah, so absolutely. I really, I think the film, yes, well, I think it was greatly directed. Um, <laughs> I do think it was a team effort. So, yeah. So, well, I yeah. think, I think you know, collaboration is the key. And, yeah. and, you know, and I think it certainly shone through because you had made a great film. Thank you. Um, what's it been like taking the film out? And kind of like, what did you, I mean, it's, it's, I was a director. I don't know if you thought about this. Maybe Ryan thought about this. But what, as, as a, what did you kind of want your audience to take from your film? Um, that, um, I think for us it was, one, that love is never a one-size-fits-all. Yeah. Um, and there can be a number of things that come out of mm -hmm. a romantic relationship. Mm -hmm. um, and me personally being great friends and business partners with my ex-husband is not conventional. Yeah. And um, Ryan being who he is, which is one of the most forgiving and loving people on the mm -hmm. face of this planet, I think for us it was you can, one forgive each other, mm -hmm. respect each other, and still love each other apart enough yeah. to say, we can come to a same audition and not be like, Ugh, Yes, gross. yes, like, right? Uh, you know, I, yeah. it wasn't that. It was like, a, oh, I remember our life together. And yeah. I, it was hard. Yeah. But um, I, can, I can love you over here and yeah. love your success. So that was kind of, we just wanted people to walk away with like, it's okay if it didn't end how you thought, but there's still more. You yeah, know, which is the whole what the rock represents. Well, there you go, and and the, I love the you're gonna know about the rock if you know if you've seen it, you know about the rock. If you haven't seen it, you're gonna know about the rock, and it's not Dwayne Johnson. Um, but like, let but no, honestly, I I I'm actually in the same situation as you as well. So I felt the yeah. the movie really oh. touching, and and we have the same relationship, and I just thought, yeah, it's okay yeah. to be okay. We haven't got if we've not got this 
you know, kind of toxic situation. We're right. okay to actually live and, and, yeah. and be good to each other. And, yeah. you know, we, we just, life's too short, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. so I really, really resonate with me as well. Mm. Um, but I would have to say as well, like I, I, I thought like, my goodness, there's a lot of different scenes and, yeah. and flashbacks and moments. Yeah. And I love how you kind of almost made us work as an audience, mm. you know, with the, which was really, really cool. Yeah. How was it, was it, was it kind of hard work filming those different sequences or? Yeah, knowing like um, when you watch the film, you'll see the editing style we based it off it's of really was a, a great movie called American Animals. Um, oh, And okay. uh, we love that film and we had wanted to do that kind of cutting yeah. where, you know, it takes you right into it. There's seamless transition. I love it. And um, that was very uh, particular choreography that we had to do, especially during like the yes. fighting sequences where it's like, yep. okay, now you're going to come to the, around the corner and he's going to come on this side. And then, you know, you're going to be over here. And also we're navigating a real house. This isn't a yeah. set. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So, you know, I'm talking, if you, <laughs> there's a scene where he like goes in the kitchen and the camera follows and I'm literally like right <laughs> on the edge of the, the thing and a box of chips made it into the shot oh, <laughs> from <know>. the crew. <laughs> so That's so but, funny. I think it was just a lot of preparation, especially because we only had three days and yeah. one day per segment. So one day for the wow. audition, one day for the, you know, yeah. uh, the flashbacks and one day for the end. And oh, so, wow. Well, it's um, amazing what you could do in three days, you know? Yeah. And, but, but honestly, it took three months of preparation, preparation yeah. and then we spent a year editing the film. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, it, it, it takes, takes time. time. It, it takes, takes time. time. Uh, what is next for you, Alison? I am currently uh, writing a series about the year after my divorce called Stuck, where I actually had to move in with three teenagers. And um, so it's based on my healing process and how teenagers brought me back to life. So. Oh, my, I'm already, I already <laughs> want to see it. Yeah, so yeah, I'm working on that. And um, Ryan's doing incredible things. Christina's doing incredible things. That's amazing. So we're all pushing forward and living our dream. Oh so, my yeah. God, I can't wait for that. I wanna watch you. every episode. Oh yeah. Um, so uh, that's amazing, really ready for that. And I think that's, I think it's so much, I love that you're teaching through healing and I think that's yeah. really, really special. Um, as a filmmaker, as a creative artist, like sure. what, is there something that, that warms your heart that you go by when you're you know, going out into the filmmaking world? And if there's anyone out in the audience that wants to follow in your footsteps, like how do you go about your creativity? Um, I think it's a two-parter. One, uh, you don't need all the fancy equipment and the, the money is incredible when you can have it, okay? It's amazing. <laughs> but you don't need it to start your journey. You don't need it to make your first film. Just put pen to paper, even if it's for 10 minutes a day. Mm -hmm. And secondly, you are enough as an artist. You will always have room to grow. You will always learn from your work. I've learned from chemistry. Like, it's been a minute since I shot that, and I would change quite a bit, to be mm -hmm. honest. So don't self-edit. Um, yeah. Just do it. And um, I promise it will, it will be worth it. Oh, fantastic. Well, thank yeah. you for your TED Talk. My goodness, I appreciate <laughs> it. Um, thank you very much. Now, yeah. Alison, we're very happy, and thank you for being part of uh, New Filmmakers oh, LA. Thank you so much. Really excited to screen your film, yeah. and, uh, and well done on chemistry. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, Alison, everybody. Yeah.